Okay, uh, so it's Niall Keady here uh, with Father John McNamara, parish priest of Balbriggan, parish of Balbriggan, and uh, we just have an update on the measures that, unfortunately, this day, this time, have to be put in place for the coronavirus measures. Um, but just to introduce yourself first, I suppose, uh, Father McNamara, um, as you're recently appointed to Balbriggan. Thanks, Niall, for this opportunity, and I'm delighted to be able to talk to you about uh, myself just very briefly. I came here in September as parish priest to St. Peter and Paul's, and of course to Church of the Assumption in Balscadden. And so I'm very conscious of the three parishes of Balrothery, Balscadden, and of course Balbriggan. And uh, I um, was, before this, I was a parish priest out in Leakslip in Kildare, uh, part of the Dublin Diocese. So uh, I'm very conscious too that. Balbriggan is a huge town and a uh, huge parish uh, with a uh, big countryside attached to it as well. And it's very, certainly very regarded as the biggest parish in the Dublin Diocese. So uh, it was nice coming here, but this, this is a difficult time for everyone yeah. now because of the coronavirus. Yeah, very difficult situation, all right. And, and um, what, I, what I suggested was that we, we, you have a Facebook page and that we would do is just a short video to to explain to people um, some of the issues around the coronavirus mm -hmm. measures that's, that's going to have to be put in place. So if you want to just take us through the, the what's going to happen. Well, basically what's happening with, our, with ourselves as a church, uh, we're following the directives of the Department of Health uh, and uh, the diocese is following those faithfully, I feel, and I hope that we certainly will do it here in Balbriggan in that case. Um, it means that um, we have a uh, during Lent, we're in the season of Lent at the moment, we have two weekday Masses, one in the morning at 10, uh, Monday to Saturday, and one in the evening, Monday to Friday at half past seven. We hope for the moment at any rate to continue those Masses, but on the vigil, say it's now St. Patrick's, which is coming up shortly, that'll be Monday evening, and on Saturday evening, and uh, Sundays, and Holy Days like St. Patrick's Day, our, all our Masses will have to be um, celebrated within the church in a, a, with a church lockdown, as it were, uh, with no congregation present, and we will be using the webcam okay. uh, to present the, the celebration of Mass to the people of the parish and surrounding districts. And of, of course, we're conscious too for a lot of people that will be very difficult, uh, especially for older people. They were always very much aware that Sunday was their high point of their week and the celebration of the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. And they find this, I would find, imagine they will find this quite difficult. Okay. But these are unprecedented times, as the Taoiseach, I think, said recently. And, um, you know, uh, we have to be aware of that. OK, um, so, so the message is that uh, the normal Sunday Masses um, are behind closed doors as such. Exactly, now. And are available on the webcam, which is on uh, balbriganparish.com. Correct. And, um, but then the, the, the morning 10 o'clock Mass and the 7.30 Mass for Lent yes. are um, uh, we'll still, proceed. Uh, still proceed in the church, but we're asked to, once again to observe the, the regulations there that we would have no more than 100 people in the church and we wouldn't at either of those masses. Um, and we're asked to make sure that there is uh, adequate space between yes, people yes. and there's at least a meter between people. Okay. And that might be difficult to do if you have a case of a par husband and wife or two partners, but yeah. that's their choice if they decide to sit together. But for everybody else, we would certainly like them to observe that, that they keep that, that in, um, regulation of um, leaving the space of a, one metre, at least one metre, if not one and a half to two metres between them. And for that reason, we've marked uh, the seats in the church with little white X's to show the positions where people could sit okay. uh, as individuals. And of course, the other thing is that um, uh, the sign of peace is suspended from the point of view of handshaking. Now, if can, people can offer a sign of peace by nodding to one another, bowing to each other, okay. smiling at one another, uh, and so on, uh, and just saying, peace be with you. Uh, and uh, the other person responds, and also with you or with your spirit. And um, other difficulties, I suppose, that arise from this is we cannot have people dipping their hands in holy water fonts. So holy water has been removed from the, the holy water fonts. They're empty. And um, also much uh, 
emphasis on the idea of communion in the hand, which I know, once again, for older people, it was going to be difficult now right. because okay. they always took communion on the tongue. And but we have to ask people, if they could at all, please make sure that they take communion on the hand okay. um, uh, because stop the prevention, the spread of this virus. Um, um, I wanted to ask you as well, just in the unfortunate event now of a funeral, what, what's the position? The position for, for a funeral is that we have been in contact with our local undertakers, Patrick of McNally's uh, undertakers, and um, uh, we've discussed this. And of course, there is a regulation uh, in place that um, for a funeral, uh, we cannot have any more than 100 people in the church okay. attending the funeral. And that's why we're asking the general public to leave the space to the immediate families and, and their close friends and relatives as such and maybe close neighbours, you know. So okay. that's the idea there. It's uh, again, it's a, it's a sensitive issue, but it has to be handled carefully so that people feel that they can celebrate the funeral of their loved ones with dignity. And um, I'm sure we'll do everything we possibly can to ensure that that that, that will happen. Okay. okay. So, so the key message is that uh, the Sunday masses um, are behind closed doors. They are. The church will be open after mass. After mass for uh, prayer. Prayer and, busy, busy and right throughout the days for right prayer. Right throughout the days, um, and the same for St Patrick's Day. Yes. Um, so. That's okay. That's, and uh, we, that is going on for a number of Sundays, uh, uh, for the moment, until the 29th, up to yes. and including the 29th of March. So that's three Sundays, one holy day. And of course, then the government will review the matter further and will inform us. Okay. But of course, if things uh, get, hopefully they won't get worse, but if they do get worse, suddenly I'm sure there could be a further review at any time. Okay. And we'll have to try to follow that as best we can. It is difficult for people. I appreciate that. I understand. Thanks very much. No, that, that, that's, that's great. And um, I'll, I'll post this out now and, 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 and let people know. Have you any message for the parishioners as such? Uh, I suppose the main message to the people is, you know, that from my own point of view, I'm very happy to be here amongst a great community uh, of Fingalians and many new people will, like myself, have come in from other places, some even further away than uh, the next county from different parts of the world and it's great to be here amongst the people of Balbriggan at this time but uh, uh, it's a worrying time for us all and I suppose to try to ask people to be calm and uh, to stop buying out the shops completely as yeah. well uh, because there will be um, there will be milk and food and all the various things we need uh, please God for us uh, each day and every day so uh, uh, make sure that we don't um, waste food because I'm listening to a radio program there today and right. somebody was talking about the wasting of food mm. because if you pile up too much food you can't use it it goes to waste and it has to be thrown out yeah. so that's that's what that wouldn't be good but please God the important thing is prayer as well as yeah. following all the medical advice washing of hands and I should emphasize that too the washing of hands it's imp unfortunate that we haven't got a, a great supply of the um, uh, the, 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 the sterilizing Gel, yeah, gels, yeah. the sterilization gels available. We have some very limited um, amount of it here in the church for the celebrants uh, at Mass and for the ministers of the Eucharist. And we're asked to, to uh, sanitize our hands before communion and immediately afterwards again. And we try to do that. And the important thing, though, at the same time, Alongside that, good practice is um, keeping distance, I suppose, not doing unnecessary journeys, and uh, also that we would ask the good Lord and our Blessed Lady to help us through this, and prayer is so important for us all. I, I suppose on that point, um, they've, they've told us that uh, if we sing happy birthday while we're washing the hands, Correct. Maybe, maybe, how, many, how many of our fathers could we say, or Hail Mary's? I'm not sure. That's, could... It takes about 20 seconds, I say, to sing happy birthday. To so, you, so uh, I suppose you'd manage in our Father and Hail Mary and the Glory be, uh, and that would be that would be well, sufficient that, that as well. Us, that okay, help that's great. Uh, Niall, it's nice talking to you, Thank and you very much. even though it's a, a difficult time, but I'm delighted to do this little interview with you. Okay.